So this bike just arrived and I thought it was a TV, honestly, and I'm like, I didn't order any TVs, I ordered a new bike. And this is uh, Ariel Ride, so let's uh, open the box. Yeah, this box is really heavy. So we have one box here, the second box, and looks uh, very well packed here. All wrapped, styrofoam, and here we have most likely charger. Today we will be testing the Ariel Greensley Rider and this is the updated version. So let's go over the details. We have a new screen, more color, much brighter. Ariel team now is selling this bike with upgraded Bafang motor, which has better sensor, better magnets, which result in a more efficient and better running and long term motors. Also it's geared for super fast start and dual mode and I was told that it will handle heels so much better, also torque should be way stronger and improved. Out of the box, Greensley comes as a class 2 e bike, limited to 20 miles an hour, but after you remove the limit, the speed goes to 35-36 miles an hour based on your weight and incline. Acceleration is nuts. This is the most powerful e-bike we have tested so far and I think this is the most powerful 52 volt dual system bike available today on the market. This is insanely fun bike to ride. It is a beast. And powerful, it's like I said. It starts crazy like the Lamy Viper scooter, which is my favorite scooter even in 2022. It spins the tires of a light throttle touch, probably 20 inch tires. I yeah. think they're like more advanced. I like the brakes. I like the brakes much better than these. And uh, yes, uh, that model does have a horn and look at this. I love that. Yeah. Good horn, yeah. Okay. All right, so let's get on the street. <laughs> All right. Ready? All right, so we'll end up, right? Yeah. One, two, two three, three, go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> And this is the part that I like a lot about this model. It is so easy to activate both motors and go into the insane mode or just set the rear motor if you like rear traction or just the front motor by pressing here to the left on this switch button. Rear, dual and front. This model has insane torque and riding this thing, it's so much fun. And I think it would be cool to compare it with Super 73 RX model. The Super 73 brand is getting so much more traction now and I think if you're looking to get a cool, fast e-bike, this comparison can be very useful in your decisional purchasing process and I hope we'll be able to help here by covering both models. On the Grinsley model we have a dual hub motor system front and rear motors are rated 1000 watts with maximum output 1500 watts combined max power 3000 watts on rx we have a single 1200 watts rated motor with maximum output 2000 watts super 73 rx motor it's bigger and it's geared on Grinsley we have a 52 volt system and 35 amp hour capacity spread between two batteries one in the front part of the frame and the second under the seat on the RX we have one single battery with 48 volt system and 20 amp hour capacity. Guys, from the start we have a higher voltage system and you know the benefits and 57% more battery capacity on the Ariel Greensley that resells for 3300 US dollars with free shipping. When RX comes with less power, less battery capacity for high price of 3700 US dollars and you still have to cover the shipping charge. The drivetrains are quite different here on both models. The Ariel has a very good big size front sprocket that helps build up speed 
and save energy. On RX we have maximum speed between 28 to 30 miles an hour. The front sprocket is just too small and does not help at all. We can see how fast I'm pedaling here with no resistance. And it's just a waste of effort. I would replace here for the biggest sprockets and potentially reach 33 to 35 miles an hour with pedaling and have more intense assist. On the Ariel Grinsley Rider we have a rear cassette with a shifter, which is a big help going uphill big time and off-road. On RX model we have just one speed and a tensioner only. Also RX drivetrain is stretched and pushed forward, which helps with way more comfortable pedaling, but at the cost of adding more chain and more weight. Between two bikes I like more the performance and the extra that you get on Grinsley model which is the fastest moped and outperforms on torque and speed all available electric bikes or mopeds available today in the market. But frame design I'll have to give it to the Super 73 RX model. This frame really looks super cool and we'll talk about the comfort of the ride later on. Speed and acceleration. So, um, yeah. land up, right? Land up. Ready? So, uh, three, two, one, go and go. Okay, so, the same. Three, two, one, go. There's, there's no competition. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of torque on this one. There's no competition. Uh, you want to come? Yeah. One, two, three, go! <laughs> I was able to cover in maximum speed and this is the best way to ride this bike and really enjoy it. I had almost over 75% of the time the throttle at the max and I covered 40 miles in range in dual setting. On a single rear motor or front motor I covered over 70 miles in range. I don't know if I'll ever ride over 50 miles in range again without stopping but this battery offers more range than I can handle. Sitting for so long in this position without stopping and stretching I really felt discomfort in my legs and back. This range numbers are insane. Let's go over the suspension. So we have here dual suspension on Aero Grinsley and uh, here on Super 73 we have a rear single shock and I feel like this suspension is much better. It's much softer and has more rebound and it's more control rebound. Here on higher speeds if you go really over big uh, potholes or cracks it kind of like uh, feels a little stiff so maybe uh, playing with adjustments or maybe upgrading will be a, a really good option. Uh, I feel like it's a good suspension but here on Super Sentry with this swing arm it's more uh, customizable and more uh, superior suspension. Front suspension on Grinsley it's very good and it's adjustable. You have here the snubs under the handlebars you can play with and adjust uh, to your liking. On Super Sentry this suspension looks much more advanced and uh, looks like it has more travel and also you have preload and settings under the handlebars here to play with and uh, I actually personally like this suspension more versus Grinsley I would like to see this suspension mounted there it would be really cool on this model we have uh, Tektro hydraulic brakes and it looks like 175, 180 I think uh, rotors I'm not sure the size but they're big enough and work perfectly well and you have enough stopping power going at fast or maximum speed here's the brake in the back on Super Sentry we have also Tektro brakes but bigger rotors and uh, a more advanced uh, braking model let me show you in the front and the front rotor is really really uh, much bigger compared to the aerial uh, Grinsley Rider 
leather grips, hydraulic brakes as I mentioned, controls here in the front, very comfortable and uh, easy to adjust and play with when you're riding or while you're riding. A very good screen, a lot of information here. Today is a very sunny day, 65 degrees, and you can easily see the numbers uh, on the screen. On Super Saiyan 3 we have this small little tiny screen, which I don't really like. Let me power the bike so we can actually see how it looks like. And the sun. Yes, much lower and uh, I'll try to let some sun on the screen so you can see. You can barely see it uh, in a sunny day. And here we have the shifter for the rear cassette, seven speeds. Here we have the throttle and uh, the shifter, the speed shifter. On the side we have the on and off switch, safety switch. Fenders on this model are much, much better, cover entire uh, or most of the, of the wheel compared to Super Saiyan 3. If you ride this in the rain, you'll get splashed and dirty everywhere, not much coverage. Different design handlebars, much taller here on the Grinsley model, a bit lower on Super 73. And uh, here we have the grips. I like the brakes on Super 73, they're much better, but the levers, they're too big, and these are like motorcycle grade, much, much bigger than the Grinsley model. I like this more, much more compact and uh, smaller footprint. One thing I want to note is that the position on the aerial rider, basically as you're sitting, you're sitting nearly above the axle right here. Basically you're sitting over here and it's like right underneath you. So basically you're sitting and then your knees are going up, up and down like this. Versus if you were to compare that with the Super 73 here, um, here basically you're sitting somewhere around here and as you can see, basically the axle is in front of you. So you're really sitting like this, and then your foot is doing this, which is actually much more comfortable, at least for me. For me, that's my major complaint about that one, about the aerial rider, is that it's, it's right on top of you, versus this is much more comfortable. It's more pedal friendly. Yes, yes, definitely. How about if you hop on the bike so we can see how yeah, it looks yeah. like? So if I hop on the bike right here, I mean, I tend to sit all the way to the back, and then, see, that's the angle. Compare that to this one over here. I'm really sitting on top. Versus yeah. It's this versus this. And that, those few inches, make a big difference over the long Comfort-wise, yes. Another thing that I want to mention is the light. Here in the back, it's a very small light. I don't quite like it. I think something more powerful that maybe covers the sports. Here we have the battery indicator. Uh, so maybe something nicer that will cover here and have a bigger light or maybe something additional that goes into the frame here will be really nice. Uh, the paint it chips very easily. I touched here and uh, it came off. Uh, here in Super Saiyan 3, also a smaller brake lights, but it's much brighter, much more visible. And I would like to have this light somewhere also outside, more sticking out. And uh, the light on the front, we have a very big headlight that really powers in front a lot in nighttime. And here we have a very small light. <laughs> But the most important thing here on the axle that I really like about this model, they have here this uh, mounting plate. Even if you unscrew the, the nut, this thing secures and keep the axle connected to the front fork, which is really cool. I haven't seen uh, this uh, upgrade or this uh, kind of mounting system on any other bikes, which is really cool. And they have this new uh, cable uh, holders. The previous one broke. So they send this replacement and they're very sturdy, uh, very good for the cable. It keeps it on the side but doesn't jam the cable. I had the zip ties here before and also here for the motor cable, really useful. You see it doesn't jam the cable, it moves up and down, I don't know if you can see, um, and really holds it sturdy and keeps it away. 
also waterproof connectors, which is really cool. And to swap the tire in case if you have a flat or take it out, it's very fast and very easy. Boom the nuts, disconnect here and the tire is out. If you want to accomplish the same ergonomic stance, you could actually get the longer seat and sit all the way to the back. In the back, yeah. Right? That's doable, yeah, that's yeah. doable. Yeah, but the biggest selling point I think is having two riders in the back versus only be able to have one rider here. I'm not sure if you can put a longer seat here and accommodate two people. I'm not sure that's doable. Looks like it's much shorter uh, rear uh, frame here in the back versus Grinsley, which is so much more uh, space here. Also, you can install here a basket or something to, to hold uh, some uh, carrying load. In conclusion, I think for 3.3K you get a hell of a lot of e-bike, extremely long range and exuberating acceleration with more than enough speed. A super fun bike that I think can be slightly improved and made even better. I would definitely add turning signals and I think it's a must to have it shipped with a stock loud and mean horn like the Super 73 RX. Guys, this was our review of the Ariel Greensley model. If you find this video helpful and informative, please hit that like button and share this video. It really helps get more detailed reviews for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.